Uh, Ramesh, now, you used to be a maths teacher, so mm -hmm. does that mean you're going to kill tonight in the numbers round, right? Well, I mean, the problem is I wasn't a very good maths teacher. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the issue. When I first told my dad uh, <laughs> that I was going to become a teacher, he was furious because he thought it was such a damning indictment of education that I was allowed to be a maths teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you have to learn your bloody times tables, you want to teach maths, you bastard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm worried. Well, speaking about like being a teacher, then, did you pick up any language for any words from the kids? Did you pick up any sort of, you know? I picked up phrases and stuff like cool. um, incompetent, <laughs> um, employee tribunal. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but like, we had this thing where some of the kids, even if they're really intelligent, they would try to put on slack. It's almost like an anti-intelligent attitude. So like, you know, you'd have like a kid that's got like targeting A at A-level maths, and like you'd say to him, "Oh, well done." You'd, go, yeah, well, just because I smashed up the calculus, isn't it, bro? <laughs> And then you have a meeting with their parents, and they say, um, Sir, m Mother's very grateful that you organised this meeting with us. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> OK, before we go on, let's change things up a bit. I'm going to give each team an extra player. So let's meet them. It's Ramesh Ranganathan and Paul Foote. <laughs> I'm going to give you some facts about our uh, extra players. Paul has a degree in maths from Oxford University. <laughs> Ramesh used to be a maths teacher, but when he appeared on Cats Does Countdown, he didn't score a single point in the numbers round. <laughs> Paul likes to tweet interesting anagrams he finds in everyday life, such as, I've just realised that Travelodge is an anagram of veal todger. <laughs> Ramesh recently tweeted, I'm drunk, mate. <laughs> well, I, wasn't, I wasn't wrong, I was drunk. I mean, it's not incorrect. <laughs> OK, time to pick a new teammate. Uh, Sarah, you're behind, so you get a pick. Who, who are you going to go for? I think I might go with Ramesh, cos I might see what he's got to give on the letters round. Give him, <laughs> give him another chance! Let's give him another chance! If you're hoping for me to step up my game in the letters, uh, I didn't smash the shit out of that either, to be honest with you. Can we do neither? <laughs> Will it just be the two of us? Uh, yeah. Uh, so, if you'd like, if you'd like Paul on your team, Sean, and Ramesh, if you could go. Yeah. <laughs> We'll have him. We'll have him, but just don't join in. <laughs> no, I could do that. I mean, it just it brings up the diversity booking, if anything, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Ramesh, it says he used to be a freestyle rapper. Correct, bruv. <laughs> used to spit bare bars, innit? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> will that help you at all this evening? I think it will. There's a lot of transferable skills. Can we, can we hear some freestyle rap? Uh, I'll give you a little... Uh, uh, I come rotten, like shagging Doc Cotton up the bottom. <laughs> uh, I bring the butter, you know this ain't the margarine, I'm quick to clean up the scene like my name was MC Window Lean. I bring the biryani. I'm Asian and I'm proud, but I'm not a Pakistani. I'm the player from Sri Lanka. Drink whiskey by the tanker. Step it to my crew and you get played out like a wanker. <laughs> okay. Ramesh, have you got a mascot? Yeah, I brought, um, I brought this little toy lion. It, um, belongs to my second child. Um, now, I, I want to sort of show support for him because, basically, when we had our first child, it's, like, really nice and, like... Decent and chilled out, and I thought we were like really good parents. And then the second one arrives, Alex, and he's just feral. Like, <laughs> he's... <laughs> he is an unacceptable human being, you know. And, and like whenever, <laughs> whenever we go out, he'll run away. And I don't mean like run away like oh, isn't it funny? Like run away like he's fleeing ISIS. Like it's <laughs> properly like. <laughs> for the hills, man. Like, and, and so I, I've brought this because he always freaks out when he's not with it. <laughs> if you want to do it, it's one plus nine is ten. One plus nine. Oh, that degree wasn't wasted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, multiplied by 50... Multiplied by 50, 500. 500. And... The other ten multiplied by the other nine by is nine. ninety. Yeah. Oh, but then what? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just leave it? Just <laughs> let's just leave it and wonder how, how, how I got it. No, because Ramesh wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ramesh, you finish it off. You, you nod, do it. You nod it in. You could do it. Come on, Ramesh, you tap it in. Be good uh, for your ego. Take the seventy-five. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> last time I came on here, I brought on like a little toy lion. I don't know if you remember. You know, I might tell you about how my second son is a prick. So, 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 <laughs> so I brought this lion because he really liked it and I thought he'd freak out. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious, man. Anyway, my <laughs> wife, my wife said it's out of order. So, to be fair, I've brought something that my first son really liked. <laughs> this is his favourite thing in the whole world, Nintendo DS. And he really loses his shit if he hasn't got it. And what I'm thinking is, I'm here, my wife's got no idea I've taken it. She is going to be having a bloody nightmare at home. <laughs> <laughs> she, she won't ever, w ever find out because she doesn't support me or watch anything I'm on. <laughs> so, tomorrow, I go back, she says to me, oh, my God, he's been losing his shit, he's absolutely freaking out. And then I go, oh, isn't it here? And I look like I've found it. I've ruined her evening. And I look like the hero the next day. <laughs> awesome. Good thinking. Good thinking. Okay. Ramesh, how many have you got? Listen, mate, I'm going to be honest with you, Jimmy. Smashed it with a six. I've got a dodgy seven as well. What are you going to go for? What are you playing? What do you mean? Well, well you've got to go for one or the other. But can't I just, like, just Commit. have a punt? No, you've got to either go with your seven or your six. What it's, are not you gonna go it's not game for pussies. Yeah. <laughs> Don't try and play mind games with me, mate. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm going to go with the six. And my... <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that mind game couldn't have gone any better, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> well done. OK, uh, Lisa, what are you going to go for? Seven. You've got a seven? Yeah. Shit! <laughs> well, let's hear your, That's your, your, your six. six, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> my six is satire. <gasps> That's good. Yeah, also one of my hobbies. Shame it's not your job. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little sleep. <laughs> oh, wait, come all refreshed. <laughs> Lisa, what have you got? What's I've your seven? I've got four, and it might well be dodgy, Veritas. That was Ooh. mine! <laughs> if that's in there, mate, I'm gonna lose my shit and walk. Because <laughs> he freaked me out, it's not fair. Oh, it's not in. <gasps> no. Boom! <laughs> um, Ramesh, what have you got? I've, I mean, uh, I've first of all got a complaint. Can we not turn the volume down on that? Seriously, <laughs> I can't work like this. <laughs> and I've got a five. You've got a five and a complaint. Yeah. Uh, Sean? Six. Six. OK, John, what have you got? A possible six. Johnny, what have you got? A definite three. <laughs> definite three, that's in the bank. If apostrophes are allowed. <laughs> and two made up on the malls. <laughs> So what are you going to go for? What are you committing to? All right, imagine a leopard, but a different version of a leopard, and it's a jeopard. <laughs> it's a, a jeopard? Or, or a joss, which is like a horse. <laughs> Just the game. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've, got, I've got PJs. <laughs> <laughs> You've got pyjamas, basically. Yeah. So, so you've got a seven-letter word. What? Well, technically, That yeah. counts. PJs counts as pyjamas, doesn't it? You're shitting me. You're not going to give pyjamas. That <laughs> <laughs> counts as pyjamas. This is like a seven-letter... What are you seven talking letter... about, man? <laughs> give him a pork chop. <laughs> and he will chill out. Uh, Susie, is PJs in the dictionary? Well, PJs are in, but they're sort of abbreviation normally on normal countdown. I'd probably say no. But it's a three and, you know... You know what? You are arguing over whether you're going to allow <laughs> a man who can barely dress himself. <laughs> <laughs> An apostrophe. <laughs> like I offer any threat. <laughs> can I just clarify, that's not going as a seven. I just want that cleared up. <laughs> I don't, want, I don't think off are coming in. I think we're going to be OK. Stars above. <laughs> Is it underneath the willow tree that I've been dreaming of? Rubbish, I think you should let him out there. Yeah, yeah, no, dude, seven, seven's fine, man. That's fine. Pajamas, wicked. No, okay. <laughs> uh, we'll give him a three. Woo! <laughs> What have you got, Ramesh? God, I've actually... I think I've got a five, yeah. but I've also might have a ten. Oh. Yeah, I know that sounds unlikely. My five letter is Japes. And I've also got PJO, which is an abbreviation for pejorative. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming you're going to let that go. You let that bullshit go. So. <laughs> <laughs> we, can't, um, 
Yeah, no, we, no I, w I would have let it go, but it's a ten-letter word. We can only go to nine, I'm afraid, so... <laughs> I mean, this is an well, absolute it's, joke, it's, mate. It's clothing for children so they don't get cold at night. And you're calling it bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> My issue is not with the concept I of pajamas. I can't wait for the council to take your kids off you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're not, no, they're not allowed clothes at night because it could be misconstrued as a seven-letter word. <laughs> Sean, your six. Drapes. <clears throat> Drapes. Ooh. I mean, that makes me look like a right prick, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I bring the butter, you know this ain't the margarine, I'm quick to clean up the scene like my name was MC Window Lean. I bring the biryani, I'm Asian and I'm proud but I'm not a Pakistani, I'm the player from Sri Lanka, drink whiskey by the tanker, step it to my crew and you get played out like a wanker. <laughs>